Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Damo, and on today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the things that are wrong with my new to the Pedal Out Fleet 1990 944 S2. Before we get started on this video, please, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Click the little bell icon, and then you get notified whenever I upload another video. Cheers. So, as well as the things that are wrong with this car, that's all well and good. And, and don't get me wrong, this isn't a negative about the 944. I absolutely love them. I'm just pointing them out. They're little things that I actually quite like that they're wrong because it gives me a chance to fix it and solve those problems. And that kind of makes me happy. But what we're also going to cover in this video is a little bit more about um, the good things uh, that are okay with this car, the things that I like that are right about this car. We'll look at those a bit more closely too. So it's a reasonably long list, but don't let that put you off buying a 944 because most things are easily solvable but this is the original immobilizer key which amazingly it still works however well, despite this car having two keys they look original there's only one of these and it looks a little bit battered you can buy replacements from a company called Hamilton and Palmer which I'm about to do but at the moment I've only got one so a little bit risky right so it wouldn't be fair to cover all the negative points of this car which in itself don't bother me that much. I like the little things to be able to fix. Let's focus on the good things. Um, original steering wheel. Now, at the time when these came out, or I suppose when I had my first 944, I was never a fan. They call this the lozenge. I was never a fan. It was too bit too retro. And a lot of people upgraded it to the later sort of three-spoke sport style steering wheels. As time's gone on, I've really, really grown to like this. I'm so glad that this car has its original steering wheel. So yeah, really, really like that common 944 problem the heater blower only works on number four so i will try and fix that apparently there's some resistors under the bonnet and they kind of wear out and the connections just get a bit old so all fixable but yeah at the moment the heater only works on four still in the interior then gearbox these can often where the springiness of them the springs various bushings in the mechanism they can feel a little bit i mean it's a little bit loose but given the mileage of this car it's okay so is the leather gear gator as well the, con the condition of it is really good a super common problem the clock you always see this in 944 adverts the clock still works this one clearly doesn't you can be get repair kits on eBay, which I intend to do, another one for the fix it list. Back in the day, the cassette box, hin cassette box hinges, needs a bit of tidying up there. These hinges used to break and flap about. This one's obviously been fixed. These screws look like they've been popped out at one point, which is good. Another one down here, there's one on the other side. There should be a bit of stone chip guard protective film here. The sills have been done on this car so there's no rust there but yeah it's just missing that bit of plastic again easy to do indicators just just they're so compared to more modern cars so simple quite common my old one did it anyway when you put the indicator on and the steering wheel returned to its normal position the indicator didn't self cancel on this absolutely works every time so that's kind of good Another thing, it's not a major one, but it's running Cylon tyres? I've never heard of them. Yeah, there's a few uh, budget brand tyres which, under normal circumstances, yeah, you should be a bit wary of that, but there's loads of bills in the folder that backs up that this car's been looked after, but yeah, clearly it's not running premium tyres. Interior light when you open the door, but um, works. That's quite nice. A couple of things down the front. This front lens is cracked. It's quite common as well on 944s because they're quite low down. Generally, you'll get a stone throw up and chip that. I think my original 944 had that. They also can tend to get condensations up. It still works, but down here as well, you call this more than a splitter, there should be a, a bib here and it's missing, so that will need replacing as well. 
Also, down there, electric window switches. Does it work? A few things around here then. Oh yes, the boot release switch down by the driver's footwell. It doesn't work. And can you hear the motors going for the boot? I can only open it with the key. But you have to push. And for some reason it sticks on that. Yeah, so <laughs> it does open eventually. You can see what you got up here is a pin arrangement. And there's a little, let's focus on that. There you go. This little pin arrangement and this little hole here, there's a clasp in here that grabs it and then releases it when you turn the key. It's grabbing hold of it a bit too tightly, it doesn't want to let go on that side, so that needs sorting out. Um, here you've got a rear wiper with a little bit of tape on it. These covers can break. Yeah, rear wiper, there's a button in the centre console, doesn't work. Heated rear window. Actually, the condition of this one, if you look at the, the sort of heating element, is not too bad. However, again, common problem, largely due to the wiring and the positioning of it. You can see there, there's a wire not connected. The hope would be that once that's connected up, heated rear window would work. Yeah, nothing that you wouldn't expect on a 30-year-old car. Also, here you go, luggage blind. Some, some repairs been done here and here, um, but it doesn't retract. Um, so there's obviously a spring in there that needs sorting out. Handbrakes 944 is down quite oddly, not in the middle, which is quite nice. But previous handbrakes I've had on 944s have never really worked that well. This one works really fine. There's the delightful three litre four cylinder lump. Nothing really wrong with the engine, uh, which is good. Um, so look for maintenance on these, lots of history, lots of receipts, that's what, that's what you want. Um, and record of cam belts and things like that and servicing, look here, this is not meant to be a buyer's guide but this is the oil filter there, this is a Porsche branded one, anything that you see like that generally means it's been reasonably well cared for. But yeah, there's a couple of things, I suppose recommendation came back on the last bit of work that was done to have the injectors cleaned through and also the brake pedal is a little bit spongy. Wing mirror. I remember my 944s or one of them I had before. It kept dropping off and I think it was this bit of sticky up here which sort of holds it on. This one seems like it's not going anywhere though, which is good. Back inside then, this is a nice single din later model unit. It says it's smartphone compatible. It's a lie, it's not. It doesn't work with my iPhone. Radio reception is notoriously poor in 944s. I don't think, well, I haven't had one. Um, the aerial is actually embedded in the windscreen somewhere there. They've never been very good. So the radio doesn't work. This USB port doesn't work for my phone. So this will have to go. We'll get something a little bit more retro modern that works basically. Pop-ups all work and they both go up evenly. They don't try and wink. And you've even got this ashtray, just like an aircraft seat on a 1985 British Airways 747 seat when you can smoke on planes. Could you actually smoke on a plane? Yes, you could, amazingly. Linen, which describes the colour, I believe. Leather seats. The driver's one is quite warm, but overall the passenger one Looks really, really good. I wonder whether they're original or not. Interesting, because they are slightly different shade to the doors. You can see, uh, maybe they've been very well cleaned. This I like. It's not perfect, perfect. First of all, just look at the thinness of that door compared to more modern cars. But when you shut it, it shuts. Solid. Like a Porsche of old. Really, really like that. Quite often these doors are so, so heavy, they drop and you kind of have to really slam them to, they don't quite go in properly. Mine was like that. Where was that? Shuts really nicely. So I was mentioning before about the budget tyres that were on this car. 
again doesn't bother me too much but flipping that around one of the positives is the original D90s design 90s I think they were called wheels with the color crested caps in the middle again that's really really nice to see 16 inch so you can always go a bit bigger you can actually use later Porsche wheels I think when Porsche put ABS on cars around 1987 uh, they changed the, the uh, wheel configuration slightly to uh, put ABS in um, yeah as a consequence I mean these wheels are okay they don't quite fill the arch but I just I do like the fact that they're original I don't know whether you next one you could call a good thing or not but can you see these amber indicator lenses which look like they're leaking a bit inside at the front now I was a member of a group where we did a job lot buy to get clear versions of these in the early 2000s so quite often you will see turbos and s2s the ones with this particular front the smoother front with clear lenses on not the amber ones now at the time i was all about modernizing the car and making it look a bit fresher and putting clear ones on but seeing this car with its amber ones and its amber rear lenses and its original wheels i kind of like it i like the fact that it is original it's it's what came out like when it was first made same with the steering wheel again I'm not have any strong desire to try and modernize this car it is what it is again still at the front I don't know if you can see this this is a little plastic cap um, if you're new to mine for you might not know this but it hides the towing eye hook and again quite often you'll see cars and they don't have that on it's missing again on a car like this it's so old such high miles it's really nice to sort of see these original features that's what i like about this particular model it's got some bumps and scrapes it's got some patina it's far from perfect it's most definitely not concourse but what it is is honest it is what it is and it's a usable modern classic that you're not necessarily too afraid of anything happening to within reason obviously and i like that right things like this as well this Porsche script here is like a decal now quite often you can sort of tell if they've had any accident damage they, admittedly this one might have been redone and this decal added at some point in its time but quite often these are quite hard to get on and be straight so uh, look out for that but this one is all again considering the age and mileage of the car it's all okay that's what I like about this car it is is all here pulls no punches dashboards in 944s notorious before the o famed oval dash models the sort of ones the squarer models that you had in the 924 uh, 924s the 924s were very very prone to being damaged in the sun and cracking i had um my 89 250 turbo which i owned in 2009 had a crack dashboard i think so they do crack quite often um if you car has a sticker here saying unleaded fuel only that's good it's a very very original sign little quirk here which you may not know most people do but little quirk here this part of the vent if you push it oh maybe the ignition needs to be on it uh, it push it push this little button and watch what happens it resets the trip at the bottom there right for all you super die hard 944 nerds this is the well no two ways about it. it's a knob that you twist you have to twist your knob to pop the headlights up that's the side lights and that's going all the way up if you pop this off just be careful doing it because there's bits of plastic inside which you can wear and clip and it'll never quite go back on the same ask me how i know there is a bulb in here this headlight knob lights up try it check it out if you're in a 944 go and have a look you might not know tiny little bulb in there another thing i like is the fact that after all these years 30 years the markings on these buttons are all still there now you look particularly at the 997 911 range at the heater control buttons and you'll see the plastics and the markings quite often wear out admittedly 
the center console buttons aren't quite the same in terms of markings but these main heater controls look at that it's like they were made yesterday not 30 years ago amazing Right, thanks for watching this pedal hour video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Write in the comments, tell me what you think. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned, there'll be loads more 944 videos coming. And also, again, we won't forget about the Audi A4, we won't forget about the TT. But please, please subscribe and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.